you know, I think one of the things that troubles me most is that we, we don't yet have a truly affordable car, um, and that, that is something that we will make in the future. Uh, but in order to do that, um, we've got to get the cost of batteries down, we've got to make, uh, and we've got to be better at manufacturing, and, and we need to do something about this curve. This cur the curve of, of the cost per kilowatt hour of, of batteries is not improving fast enough. Elon Musk has said that batteries are key to scaling electric vehicle production and moving towards sustainable transportation. New battery cells other than the 4680 will appear and break into Tesla's Model Y, making it superior to the competition. So what amazing advantages are in store for the world of EVs? Find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to the channel. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing to the channel and ringing the bell so you won't miss any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started on today's content. Tesla, not how say, it's a very successful company. is very successful. Yes, Tesla is very Tesla. We are very proud of Tesla. We are also friends with Musk. Yes, is it? Because we are also going to give him a battery. We are also going to give him a friend. 首先,它起点比较高嘛,它才去的高举高打,它在美国在这种资本市场融资也好。as rumors from a year ago anticipated, a prior supply contract had already been signed between Tesla and BYD, or Build Your Dream. On October 21st of last year, a source close to BYD told a local Chinese media outlet that the manufacturer had received an order from Tesla for 10 gigawatt hours of LFP batteries. In early June, BYD Executive Vice President Leon Yubo announced in an interview that BYD would soon supply batteries to Tesla. On the afternoon of August 10th, a number of people familiar with the matter revealed that the Blade battery supplied by BYD has been delivered to Tesla's Gigafactory in Berlin, Germany, which is also Tesla's first superfactory to use BYD batteries. Tesla vehicles can roll off the assembly line in as little as one month, that is, from the end of August to the beginning of September. This is a surprising turn of events, if it turns out to be true, but neither Tesla nor BYD are confirming it right now, though BYD has previously confirmed plans to supply Tesla with battery cells. Tesla's CEO Elon Musk has said that ramping up battery production is crucial if electric vehicle adoption rates continue to rise. They plan to purchase every available battery cell available. Chinese sources said that Tesla had some of the most stringent requirements on the thickness and precision of the batteries they were getting. BYD really had to work hard and improve its processes with the next generation Blade battery to meet the Tesla standard. Then, some information revealed that the second factory using this battery line is Giga Texas. Tesla's Model Y along with the Semi are expected to be built by the new BYD Blade battery in early 2023 to hit its target of 3 million vehicles per plant. Promising this battery innovation will bring a lot of positive reception from Tesla fans. So, is the BYD Blade battery better than the 4680 cell? Documents refer to the new Model Y variant as the Type 005, and internally as the Y7CR variant. The BYD battery capacity is rated at 55 kilowatt hours, providing a range of 273 miles. The BYD Blade battery single cell design is compact, measuring 37.7 inches long, 3.5 inches wide, and half an inch tall. The single cells are arranged together in an array and then inserted into a battery pack. With this configuration, the use of available space is increased by over 50% compared to conventional cylindrical lithium ion phosphate batteries. Compared with ternary lithium batteries and traditional lithium iron phosphate batteries, they hold notable advantages in their enduring longevity, price, charging time, and high safety. The Blade battery can be charged and discharged more than 3,000 times. If the battery life is 400 kilometers per charge, it's equivalent to 1.2 million kilometers in the battery life cycle. In contrast, Tesla batteries can last for about 300,000 to 500,000 miles, which means 1,500 battery cycles. To make it simple and clear, Tesla batteries can last 20 years depending on the driving sessions. When it comes to comparing lithium ion, the next generation BYD batteries have a lifespan of 60 years, which means the BYD battery life is significantly longer than the 4680. 
Secondly, the new variant will probably be a cheaper version, with rear-wheel drive only and a smaller battery. Since 2010, the average price of a lithium-ion EV battery pack has fallen from $1,200 per kilowatt hour to just $132 per kilowatt hour in 2021. For comparison, BYD Blade batteries are cheaper and contain no cobalt or nickel. An estimated 55 euros per kilowatt hour or 64 US dollars per kilowatt hour. It seems Tesla is looking to produce a less expensive Model Y at a time when inflation is rampant in Europe. In terms of fast charging performance, Tesla is a high current solution. At present, the charging current of V3 is already at the level of 600 amps, and the maximum power can reach 250 kilowatts. BYD uses a rated voltage of 570 volts with a maximum of 680 and a peak power of 120 kilowatts. Blade batteries can be charged from 10% to 80% in about half an hour. Furthermore, thanks to their 800 volt operating voltage, they can provide a range of 90 miles or 145 kilometers in just two minutes of charging with the next generation BYD Blade battery innovation. Although Tesla's peak power is high, it can only be maintained for a short period of time. BYD Blade batteries love being at 100% charge or at 0%, but lithium ion batteries prefer to stay in the 20 to 80% range. The most important information is that BYD uses LFP chemistry. The LFP has a much lower energy density than the NCM slash NCA chemistry of the current cells used by Tesla and other EV manufacturers. A negative chain reaction due to high pressure and high temperature causes thermal runaway in a lithium ion cell. Since NCM or nickel cobalt manganese cells release oxygen as a byproduct during thermal runaway, they tend to catch fire very easily. On the other hand, the Blade battery offers a higher level of safety than conventional lithium ion batteries. LFP is more stable battery chemistry, even at temperatures as high as 500 degrees Celsius. Following an exhaustive development program, the Blade battery returned truly impressive class-leading test results where a stringent nail penetration test confirmed the Blade battery's surface temperature reached a remarkably low 30 to 60 degrees Celsius, all while emitting no smoke or fire. Further tests subjected the Blade battery to a 300 degrees Celsius furnace test and a 260% overcharging test, neither of which resulted in a fire or explosive response. The results provide evidence that the Blade battery dramatically outperforms traditional ternary lithium batteries and lithium iron phosphate technologies. This compact design, coupled with class-leading safety credentials, offers a marked competitive edge for BYD and, moreover, a step change for the entire EV industry. How do you feel about Tesla using BYD batteries? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Otherwise, that's it for today's episode. We sincerely thank you for watching and for all of your support of our channel. As always, if you enjoyed our video, please leave a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of EVs. And be sure to leave a comment down below to tell us what you thought about today's content. Once again, we thank you so much from all of us here. We hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care and be safe.